guys, it is Thursday, the 25th, I think, 25th? Yes, 25th. Um, and I'm sitting here, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sitting here with the next project that I'm going to start in front of me, and it's another Happy Mail project. It's the second Happy Mail I ever got, and it's from Sigrid Soto, and all her stuff sitting out here because I'm looking at it and I'm making decisions about what I want to do and I was thinking of a canvas starting off with a canvas but I've changed my mind because there's so many different things in variety here that I didn't want it all on one canvas so I thought it deserved individual pages which means guess what <laughs> 1001 video <laughs> no it means that it's going to be another long video and parts and it's because I'm, I can't do it all so quickly so what I thought I would do unless I change my mind between now and the time I start the project I have a my mind's eye kit scallop chipboard album kit in front of me I've had this kit forever I have a bunch of stuff like this kits and, and books and things like that that I I've just decided to start using what I have so I went through what I had and I found one that uh, I liked. I need at least six pages, I think. I don't want to do front and back because there is dimension here and I didn't want the back to be bulky. So I'm going to just do the front and the back will be just maybe collage napkins or something pretty. So it's going to be at least six pages. And so this had six um, scalloped pages in it. So I'm pulling that out of the kit, and I'll, I'll either use all of them or just a few of them. But we'll know once we get started. I'm going to use this out of the kit because that's what binds it together, and I like this idea because it leaves me room for it to be bigger because some of these things are thicker. The, uh, the rest of the kit is paper, trim, and some cardstock and stuff like that. I'm not going to use any of that. I'll use that in other projects, so that's not going to be used because I'm trying to keep this as close to what it was, was sent to me as possible. But what was sent to me was in a small container. Where's the bag? It came in a package this big. All of the stuff she got into this package. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and it's just not enough for me to use this for the project. I'm going to use this in the project, but I can't use it for the um, canvas, so to speak. So, scratch all this stuff, it's not gonna get used. However, in this kit is a piece of um, corrugated board, taped together, two pieces actually, and it was in here, stuck at this end down here, just so the papers wouldn't slide to the bottom, just to keep the papers in line. That's all it was in here for. It's not a part of the kit. I'm going to use that because I have an idea of what I wanna do with it. And I think it'll work. I think it's the perfect size. I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's enough of it. One, one, two, three. There may not be enough of it, but we'll improvise. So, based on that, what we have is what Secret sent me. The canvas to work on, which is the cardboard chipboard from the kit. And this corrugated board from the kit, which isn't part of the kit. And that's it. Okay? So I'm going to get myself oriented and I may come back and get started. It's getting late in the day, so I doubt that I'll get much done. Um, but I'll do as much as I can and uh, start filming for you guys. So we will see you in a little while. Bye-bye. Okay, hasn't been that long. It's only a couple minutes. <laughs> I thought I would just turn the camera on for a minute. I had started off with a canvas, like I said, and I decided that that would not work for me, so I'm trying to separate everything back out into categories. I may not use everything. Like I said, I'm trying to use a lot of everything sent to me in Happy Mail, and what's left over will go into a stash for, you know, uh, other projects. But I really want to use as much as possible from the Happy Mail. It's kind of like a challenge, so let me stick this off to the side here. So, I rode my bike late today, so I'm a little bit warm, even though it's really nice outside. Super, super, super beautiful. I just was enjoying the day. I rode a little longer today. I rode 15 miles, and it's a little over an hour and 15 minutes or so, um, because I was, I was riding really slow. It was like almost a stroll, like a 
just an outing. Okay, this goes together, this goes together, and that goes together. All right. And this. will come into play later. Right now, she sent me napkins, and I'm thinking of using the napkins as the background for most of this, not all of it, because I don't want the background to fight with what's going on it. Oh, and she sent me an ATC and a tag that I doubt that I'll put in because I love these. I especially love this one so, so, so much that I probably, maybe I'll hang it from here. Maybe that's a good, that's a good idea. I'll hang it. And this I'll put a pocket or something because I'm not going to use them in it. I want to be able to see them. I was gonna hang them over there where I hang my other stuff, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens as we go along. And let's see, for now, what do we want the cover to be? I really love that. This is so cute. It's got the bicycle on it, which you guys think of me, um, when you think of me, I'm sure you think of bicycling, because I talk about bicycling. <laughs> I love this one, too. But I think I'll reserve that for inside. This is really beautiful, but it's a little busier than I want for the outside, because the outside's going to have something on it. It's going to be dimensional. But let's take a look, just in case. You know, it's not that busy once you get it pulled apart. I just think it would fight with whatever I put on here. I think it would. Unless I went real dull. Not dull, but bland. Um, I could white it down a little bit. That would help. So, which one? It's going to be one of these two. I think because this one goes upside down and right side up, I will pass on that one for the outside. This one I can cut in half easily and use part of it. I could, I can get this in there if I want it, but I really don't want that. I really want this. So it's going to get part of that in there. I think it's time for frou-frou coffee. I am, I think the sun and stuff is giving me a little bit of a headache. I don't usually get headaches. That's that's pretty. Hmm. This hanging on the outside, would that work? You know, this is so, so gorgeous. This is so, so gorgeous that I'm going to use this as the inspiration piece. So we're not going to go with a napkin on the outside. We're going to go with something that will go with this on the outside because when I get done, I really want this to be hanging out here like this. This, I don't, I, I know you've seen it. This is so pretty. You guys send me some of the nicest, nicest things. It's just amazing. I love these colors. I really love this brown, you know? I wonder if her package would fit. I don't think so. Okay, um, so give me a minute to think and I'll come back in a second. All right, I've decided, I think, what I want to do for the front page, I think. Uh, this tag is so um, natural. There's a word I'm looking for. Uh, I can't think of the word. I want to stick with those colors in the tag and use the things that she sent me that kind of go with that kind of look. Na natural, 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 generic, no. There's a word, I don't know. Um, so, I think for the outside book, I pulled out this raw umber master's touch paint and I pulled it out because it's a richer darker color than this one which is a fluid acrylic I don't think I have a, a heavy body one uh, I 
I don't want to take time to check too long. Well, I do, but it's, no, it's Ross Sienna. Okay, um, I'm building my, my heavy bodies. Okay, and then I pulled out Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine Violet, and Alizarin Crimson Hue in the Goldens. This one's a heavy body, and this one's the open acrylics, which is a little bit of a heavy body, but not as heavy as this one, I think. I think that's how it works. And my plan is to use these colors and this, hopefully, in here. I also need one more color, maybe the green. This green here. Oh, boy. The one thing about this is you can paint over it if it doesn't work, right? Yeah, let's just tell ourselves that because I don't want to mess this up. But it might happen. You never know. All right, let's move this out of the way. Let's get us a uh, drop paper. And get started. I don't want this color across the whole thing. I just want it to be like the edges and the center is going to be possibly this green or possibly a tannish color. Where did the tag go there? i got to keep it in front of me. Oh, that's just so pretty. You know, it just speaks on its, on its own. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I'll just sew over it and start all over again. And I don't have my apron on, so hold on. Let me get my apron on. There's no need to hurry. This is going to be like, I don't know how many parts. <laughs> so, might as well just relax and enjoy the ride. You guys can watch or fast forward or skip it. Whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Okay. see what we get. I'm going to go up like this because I want it to be kind of painty looking but not even. And it needs to go up a little bit further. came in here to uh, to work on a canvas of some sort. I was just going to play and this is what I wind up doing. <laughs> I never seem to come in and do exactly what I plan. It always kind of turns out to be something else. Which is okay. I'm in the mood to do this so that's, that's why happened I guess and that's when you should do it when you're in the mood if you're not in the mood you shouldn't do it because then it won't be as fun I don't think it has to be even uh, this because this is very oh, what's the word I'm gonna think of the word eventually and y'all probably be long gone organic that's the word I'm looking for organic paint on me and I've barely gotten started. Okay. Well, I should keep this side. No, not anymore. Um, the other side may not be this brown, but I think it won't matter because I think it's going to be a napkin. So I'm going to go in the edges here around the scallops. I think one reason why I haven't worked on these books before is because of the scallops. I remember thinking, I gotta cut around the scallops to make the papers fit, and, or I gotta paint around them, and 
I thought, oh, it's a good idea, and it'd be pretty, but uh, then every time I go to think about doing it, I'm not in the mood to do that. But this is worth it. I can always come back and add some more, and it's not so far off the normal color of the board that it really matters a big deal. I'm not going to be too picky about it. All right. That's beautiful. Oh, oh boy, that's beautiful. Are you too far away? Last time, the last video I did, I had you so far in, you couldn't hardly see anything I did. But that, that was no good. I was disappointed with that. But try to keep you far enough away to see and close enough. You're not too close. All right. Let's. I also brought out this stencil. It's die cuts with a view. And it's, uh, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what they call them. They, they don't put names on them that I can see, so I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush for the green. Water's already dirty. And I keep forgetting to bring a towel up here. I need another towel. I need a person to help me. I need an assistant. <laughs> an assistant that likes to clean house, do laundry, cook, clean up the kitchen. Chat. <laughs> Does it all. Okay, now we're going to take the green and let's see if we can make some I don't know if I want it solid or blotchy but we'll see I'll do a light coat and see what happens you can always cover the middle This is a little darker than what I thought it was going to be based on the tube. And I've used this before, but it, it wasn't this dark. But I think it's the ch uh, chipboard. Really soaking in the paint. I wet my brush just a little bit, just a dab. That might be enough. That might work. I brought over this stencil and I was going to do a little stenciling on it in black. You know, I may not need these colors. This tag by itself brings in all those colors. I just brought in the green a little bit more. So I may not use those colors. Let's get the black and do a little stenciling. I wanted to do the stenciling because there's stencil on here and it'll just bring it in a little bit. So I picked a real simple one. And I might just go, let's see, I need to keep it simple. Maybe come from the corner here. You never know till you do it. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to show up a whole whole lot because of on the um, the dark the dark brown it's not going to show but on the green it should show some more. 
Buster's walking around downstairs. I'm tempted to go down and haul him upstairs, but he may not like that. And I won't be here very much longer. This is just a quick start on this project. And just to warn you guys, last time I did a long project, not the one, oops, not the one with uh, the scrap collage, the one with the first Happy Mail that I did, it was like seven videos. Um, I waited till I was all done to post the video and it took forever to edit and upload and just work it all out. So what I might do is take this video and upload it as I work on it. So you might get this post in your mailbox, like, I don't know, one day, and then you might in a few days get the next part. So just be warned, it's not gonna be all at one time like I'm used to doing. It's too, too much work. And y'all are worth it, but it, it's really hard for me to get anything else done. And this is sticking? Why? So. Okay, that's really pretty. So we're going to do a little bit more. Can you see this okay? Isn't that pretty? Now imagine this hanging from it. Isn't that... Oh my gosh, it's just killing me. Secret, thank you. Thank you for that. Each thing you guys send me is so special. The wallpaper in the last Happy Mail was just to die for, and I was just oohing and on all over it and still talking about it. And now we got this tag and these beautiful things. Okay, um, I think we'll go like that. That's kind of odd, but we'll do it. Do it anyway, because it's going to be covered some. I don't know how much, but some. And I may just go ahead and do the back of the book brown like this too. To match it. I may not, I don't know yet. Kind of thinking if I'm going to, I should do it now. All right. It needs a little bit more right up here. Right like that. I should have come in closer to the green. Have you guys enjoyed this fall weather? Oh my goodness, it has been just perfect. Perfect for riding and being outside. It's just, oh, it's just wonderful. Okay. a little distressing while we have our um, sponge out here. I believe it's almost October. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Alright, what do you think? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm loving it. I'm loving it a lot. I'm loving it so much I might not put anything else on here to distract from the tag. I might leave it like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and go the way I was thinking. I think it'll look good. All right. Let's get rid of this black paint. First, do we want the black, the brown to be on the back? Do you think? Yes. All right, we'll do it. Let's just do that. Um, I'll go off camera and do that and I'll come back. I changed my mind. I'm gonna stay here. 
Um, the reason is because what if I do something different and you miss it and, and I'm not filming? Or I lost my brown. Or what if I have something to say to you guys and, and the camera's off? There's my brown. Or what if you just want to hear or listen or see? And even if I'm not talking, what if you want to be involved? What if? There's a lot of what ifs here. So I had to take that into consideration. <laughs> All in a matter of a few seconds. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Stay on camera. And since I did the distressing with the pouncer tool thingy, the sponge, I'm not going to worry about getting brown paint there because around the edges because I don't really need it. I didn't really know I was going to do that earlier, so... I don't know if y'all watch Netflix or not. Um, we tend to get a movie in and then keep it forever and not watch it. Not a movie, but like a series. Like Get Smart. We had Get Smart for a while. And we forget about them and don't watch them, so finally my husband finished up one that we had, sent it back, and I had asked him to please put uh, Nanny McPhee on the list for me. I've seen the first one, but I haven't seen the second one, and I really want to see the second one, so I said get both, and we'll make it like a mar movie marathon back-to-back -back <laughs> Nanny McPhee's, so I think the second one came in. I didn't open it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, TV just irritates me, disappoints me. Um, there's so many movies out there, so many good movies that were made, but they give you the same junk over and over and over on cable and like HBO and stuff, so we quit that a long time ago. And they give you this, I don't know, some of y'all may like stuff like this, but coming of age stories and things like that, I'm not into that. I just don't, I don't want to spend the time on that. I want to spend the time on quality stuff. If if it's if I know it's if I if I think it's quality, if I if I have a chance of it being quality, I'll give it a try. Um but there's so many movies from years and years and years ago that they could show. There's actually there's so many movies that they could put a new one on every day. Shoot, every other day, every week if you want to be uh conservative. And you'd never get through them all. But they don't do that. They give you the same stuff over and over and over and over and over and over. And it's usually junk. I don't like it, most of it, so. Sorry, I'm on the little soapbox. I'll, I'll stop. This is not about complaining about TV. <laughs> but I have to say that Netflix is okay because you can actually choose what you want to watch. Um, but I'm not a big TV person, so to me, there's not a lot out there that I really care about. Care about seeing. Doesn't matter to me. I could skip it. All right, I think we're done with the brown. Now, I, know I should use that. Should we go with another color on the back just to be different? Maybe the purple? It'll be the same pattern, the same um, concept, following the same... I don't know what the word is. I can't think of my words. My words are gone. They left me yesterday when I had trouble in that video. If you watched it, you'll hear me fumble around with words. I think the purple would be really good. We'll do that. <clears throat> And this one's drying now, and you can see where the marks from the brush pulled away the paint, and I like that. I like that distressed look. Bailey's digging for us. Let's all take a moment and thank Bailey. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you, Bailey.
Buster has to go to the vet tomorrow. And tomorrow would be the 26th. And I doubt you will see this before then. So when you watch this video, the 26th will have come and gone. And probably by the time we get to another part of the video, I will have talked about the results of his visit. But he has to go for uh, blood work because he has a heart murmur that he's had since he's a puppy. And it's gotten worse, of course, as he's gotten older. He's 14 now. And um, I don't, like I said before, when we've talked, I don't like medicines and stuff. But for his particular case, we give him something for his heart to help it beat easier. <clears throat> and it works for him, so we're okay with that. But in order to renew the prescription after so long, like six months, every six months or whatever, the doctor, of course, wants to see him and do tests and stuff, which, you know, I have my opinions about that. But we're not going to get into that because it's another soapbox and I'm not getting on another one today. <laughs> Mark it down, it's the 25th. I'm not getting on another one today. Um, anyway, so he's going to go have the test done and the vet the doctor that we like to go to is in tomorrow so we had to do the appointment on Friday um, so he's gonna go get some tests done and I'll let you guys know how that goes if I remember if I don't say anything it probably went fine okay that's good enough I'm just tired of trying to rub that in it's not wanting to go all the way in which is okay it's really pretty man Out some, out some, out, out. Okay. Now, we're going to do the stencil again. And let me dry that just a shade. Because it's not drying as fast as the green did. So, hold on. Stencil. This one. Hmm. Doesn't have to be the same, just close. More black. to go through as much. I'm afraid to put too much on the sponge is probably why it's, I don't want it to be gloppy. Well, that didn't take either. That's good enough. Okay. Something trying to come out of the paint that's yucky. Don't you hate that? Ugh, look at that. Well, hang on, let me get rid of this mess. Oh, I just pulled a bunch of trash out of the trash can. A little, little tiny, tiny, tiny trash. Bailey's gonna have a cow. Okay. See, I, I don't know how you do it, Kathy. How do you stay so neat? I just don't know. All right, um, this one, I'm gonna go that way. And then one little tiny loopy thing right there. Okay, done with that. 
Put them at the back. So now we have front and back. This purple looks kind of blue in the monitor camera thing I'm looking at, but it's not. It looks purple to me. It looks blue up there, though. All right. Let's get rid of this black paint. Hopefully I won't need that again because I'm not planning on doing any more stenciling right now. Okay, let's put this away. I don't think I need this right now. Okay, now let's go back to this. We know the tag's going to hang from here. So we want something here, just a little something. And I was thinking, she sent these um, molds that she made from toilet paper. And these, uh, hold on the phone. Okay, don't have much longer. My husband's on his way home. So let's. I was going to finish the top, but it's dimensional, so before we do that, let's um, cover the back with whatever we're going to cover it with, and let's decide on that right now. Um, I think I want the front and back covers to be covered with this, because it kind of goes with the color scheme of the front, so I think that's what we're going to do. and. Let me move this out of the way. I don't know if I have time to finish it all today or not. I've got to pull this apart. And I was telling you, Buster has to go to the vet tomorrow. Well, Bailey had to go a few weeks ago, and I don't know if you remember this. You might remember. Some of you who listened to the whole video all the way through, she had to go a few weeks ago for her paw. And it was getting better. Well, she started messing with it again, so now it's not looking good again. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Take her back. I'm tearing the napkin by accident in some places, but that's okay. It'll, it'll mend itself when I start gluing it down. And probably I should have colored the uh, painted the back, the brown color too. You know what I didn't do? I forgot to do is the distressing on the. I'm gonna save this too. I don't know what I use it for, but I forgot to do the distressing around the back of this with the black. So we're going to dirty up another sponge because I can't leave it undone. get sidetracked because I'm I'm jumping ahead of myself thinking about what I want to do next. I'll do this. And I forgot. So I have dog issues. Are we on camera? I don't know. <laughs> I forget to look up. I just assume y'all can see because I'm talking to you. You must be able to see in here. <laughs> okay, this one is almost done. My husband's on his way home, so time for a frou frou. He wants to get out on his bike early because it's getting darker earlier and cooler earlier so by the time he gets home and gets out he gets back at dark and I don't like him out there at dark because it's not it's not 
well, I don't want to say dangerous. It's not. It's dangerous because he wears so many lights. You can see him from a mile away, but still, people don't drive like there's bicyclists on the road. I know a lot of people don't like bicyclists. Some of you may not. I don't know, but um, some pe bicyclists, bicyclists can be rude. I've seen him, but so motorists can be rude too. Um, anyway, I just assume he'll not be out at dark. Okay, that's good enough for now. Stick that in there to be washed. Uh, Bailey left the room. She didn't want me seeing her chewing on her paw. She didn't want to be chastised, so. I think we'll leave the back just that color. We'll just go ahead and leave it. And I think, do I want to glue it down or Mod Podge? 